good morning engineers and uh, welcome to the video uh, this video i would like to talk about the airflow to the new feature that I, it has basically called as task groups instead of using sub dags i would like to introduce you to task groups let's get started with uh, task group guys i want to show you an example first and uh, show you uh, in my earlier tutorial you know we made this um, dags right a uh, very simple dag we have a read file then we are processing the columns on the file such as uh, title director and uh, type. So in the CSV file, we have these three columns, okay? Once though we process these file, we run the task complete. Now you can see how dirty it becomes, you know, uh, you could easily group these into sub -dags, and that is exactly what I'm about to teach you in this. So you could see it's much more messier, right? So in this approach, this is Airflow 2, right? This Airflow 2, they have done a lot of improvements of such as sub -dags, right? So if you can see, so first of all, what you have to do in order to use a sub -dag, you have to import them. So you would say from airflow.utils.taskgroup import task group. Okay, that's easy. Once you've done that, come down on the bottom section uh, and then you have to say with task group processing dot would name the, the give it a name as whatever name and just you have to indent those inside that. Now I'm gonna just for your understanding purposes, what I would like to do here uh, if my mouse works because it's kind of frozen right now. <laughs> let me see. Let me try to switch the screen. Maybe that might my IntelliJ is frozen. Uh, yeah, no, now it's back. Just for your understanding purposes, I would like to split the screen into two because this would allow you to compare both the code side by side and see. Oh, okay. So you are that does make sense. So uh, so the, you can see the old code is on the top and the new code is on the bottom. So with, you can see with task group, you gave it a name, right? And we indented all of these three tasks, as you can see on the top uh, in this code block. And now if you scroll down, what we did is basically read file processing task. Instead of doing all of these three, it got replaced by a task group, right? And processing task, complete task. How does it look on a DAG view? So if we come to the graph view, so it should come on a blue block. The blue block says that it's a task group, okay? Now, if you double click on that, it would clearly show you this, right? It would show you this nice uh, UI diagram that or, or block diagram that your engineers or any um, you know managers can go over. It. Okay, this is what he's doing. Uh, they can click here. They can, I guess, they can also see the code uh, if I'm not wrong. So all of that functionality is there. Airflow 2 offers a lot of new functionality, improved UI, the time zone, all of that. So everything is there, guys. So I would. I would please say check it out, try it yourself if you want to really learn and enjoy this uh, uh, amazing piece of technology of Airflow, right? So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Hope this was useful. And if you have any more questions, list your questions in the comments. And as usual, keep smiling, keep coding, never give up and see you guys in the next video.